we developed uh, applications and tools um, oriented to earth science and uh, earth observation. The next project was um, GISEO, that was a collaboration with uh, uh, European Space Agency, and we developed uh, a platform, Eagle, that uh, was used in uh, e-learning. So what are our current efforts? We are working on a simple API for grid applications. So we are trying to define and implement a um, user-driven, application-driven interface to a wide variety of middlewares, and in particular the globals. I realize as an infrastructure provider, I cannot is establish a way that I think one size fits all. I have to be able to support different middlewares, different infrastructures, different communities. Everything has to work together to create that integrated whole. And of course the other aspect of, of the Globus enthusiast, the Globus community, is the technology itself. And we've already started um, this participation in that um, Helmet and uh, others have, have participated in the um, Technology Coordination Board, the TCB with EGI. And what this does is to go through the, the requirements that are filtering through from the users, all users across the board, and seeing where the, the Globus technology can um, solve some of their needs. And in that case, the elements of the, the Globus toolkit can be included into the um, UMD. The most important thing was to have a stick tagger here, so we, we could discuss about the, the Globus Online Services, which, has, which is one of the most important services for us as a, as praise, because we have a lot of problems with data transfers, and the users need to be supported in doing this activity, because the data will improve and. Uh, and simulations are producing even more uh, tons of data, so the data transfer will be an issue in the future. That was the thing that really leapt out at me on the U.S. side, was all the talks about all the really s different and unusual and you know surprising stuff going on in the Globus community. And that's, those are some of the talks I really enjoy, right? Because I, you know, I know the technology and all that, but to see how people are really using it in, in real life and real settings, I, I think those are really interesting, both for us as the providers of the software, but also for other users to see all the kind of different things that one can do with it. You know, they may have one particular view on what Globus can be used for, but to see all the other options often kind of opens the aperture for them in terms of what, you know, what they're able to see. So, you know, as much of that as we can have in future years would be good. For the first time uh, in uh, Medio Grid, we used uh, Globus, and that is as I told before, was a quite good experience. Uh, then we move on to another platforms, and we have to make a few compromises in order to reach uh, efficiency, um, us high usability, and uh, robustness of uh, application and tools. And I think that also as, a, as an infrastructure, we should involve you in collecting our requirements because we have uh, requirements coming from users, we have requirements coming in from project, and maybe we could have requirements coming new from service provider. So the, the, the question that I was asked um, maybe about a year ago by Helmet was, was the scope for a, a Globus virtual research community um, working with EGI? And we said that what we were looking for is um, communities of purpose, as in driven by research interests rather than communities of practice in their use of technology. So in, in doing so, we, we've been introduced to a few different um, user communities that happen to use Globus, and we're very pleased to continue uh, discussions with them as to what their needs will be in using the EGI infrastructure. Yeah, I'm very happy with the reception of Globus Online. We're, you know, in general, the reception of Globus Online has been amazing. It's it's. You know, we were, I was commenting in one of my talks earlier that Globus Toolkit, you know, because it's plumbing, it's low-level stuff, we were always so distant from end users. And so as a result, all of the kind of feedback would get filtered uh, in, in a lot of different ways. And with Globus Online, it's so immediate because what we're doing is for end users. And the response is always this you know, sort of the eyes lighting up, you just did that, right? That, wait, you know, you just transferred data between two different security domains with different certificates over grid FTP, and I didn't have to do anything. 
Following on from the incredibly successful event, all I can say to everyone watching this is come and join us next year at Globus Europe and also see our presentations at the Globus World event. Thank you very much. I would recommend users to attend Globus Europe events.